Thatcham Research. I've come here to find out which car will be crowned the 2025 Watt Car Safety Award winner. I'm off to meet Alex Thompson, Principal Engineer with Thatcham, to find out more. Hi Alex, nice to meet you. Hi Claire. So can you tell me a bit about the latest innovations in car safety? Yes, we know that vehicle safety has improved a lot over the past 25 years and now more than ever we're starting to see that the focus is more and more on the people around the vehicle, so not just the occupants of the car but vulnerable road users and occupants of other vehicles on the road. Can you tell me a bit more about what the manufacturers are doing to improve safety? So the car manufacturers have been working hard on improving the, the crash structure. I mean, we know all about seat belts and airbags and how important they are to, to crash safety. But before we can even think about that restraint system, the vehicle structure has to perform well and to help the restraint system work effectively. So what are the important features of the front end of the car in a crash situation in that? Nowadays, one of the main focuses is on compatibility and that's how two vehicles crash into each other and how they can effectively manage the energy of a crash and spread that between the two so that you don't get one car over crushing the other and that vehicle being detrimentally affected by the collision and to do that the structures need to be engaged correctly and that's called structural interaction. That's really interesting so do you have an example of this you could show me? Yes absolutely this is the Volkswagen Passat and you can see how they've extended this bumper structure further outwards and connected it to a lower load path. This allows more structural interaction potential for this vehicle. So if it's to have a collision with another vehicle, there's more of the front is protected and that in turn helps manage the energy of a crash better. So that's great for car to car impacts, but what's being done to help vulnerable road users? Yeah, with all this extra structure that's here, we need to make sure that vulnerable road users are protected as well. And so vehicle manufacturers still need to meet that design challenge. And therefore we see padding that fits over the front of the bumper structure there so that pedestrians' legs are protected from that kind of impact. Thanks, Alex. That's great. Now I'm off to Gamston, Thatcham's track testing facility, to find out more about the active car safety systems. Hi, nice Claire. Nice to meet you. So, can you tell me a bit more about the active safety systems on the latest new cars? Sure. All of these new vehicles that we see here actually all have a very similar level of ADAS functionality. That's because the EU new general safety regulation is now in effect, which means that all vehicles as standard must have this level of ADAS function. The key features within this would be autonomous emergency braking, emergency lane keeping systems and intelligent speed assistance. So are there any good examples of lane keeping assistance systems on these cars? Yes, the Audi Q6 e-tron here was an excellent example, with emergency lane keeping driven by the forward facing camera mounted in the windscreen, picking up the lane markings on the road ahead. This system was available a lot of the time, the system was very accurate so it's not over intrusive and the system was very good in terms of collaborative steering with the driver when trying to override. These are the reasons that we rated this system very highly. So what about autonomous emergency braking? Are there any models here that really stand out? Yes, the Mercedes E-Class here was a particular standout in terms of autonomous emergency braking. In safety testing, this vehicle scored with the highest performance across the largest number of scenarios. It's also very tolerant to real-world noise factors like bad weather that you'll see out in the public road. Because of those reasons, we rated this system very highly. So you also mentioned intelligent speed assistance. Can you tell me a bit more about this feature? Sure. Intelligent speed assistance is a system that detects the current road speed limit and warns the driver if that speed's being exceeded by the vehicle. Around 30% of all fatal crashes have speed as a contributing factor. That's the rationale that this is now standard fit in all vehicles. It's also very helpful for drivers, whether on unfamiliar roads or driving in temporary restrictions, to not exceed the speed limit inadvertently. So are there any really good examples of this here? Yes, the Mini Countryman here was a very good example of intelligent speed assistance. When tested, it had an extremely high accuracy and it also displays the upcoming speed limits with a distance marker to the driver, which is very helpful. Because of that, we rated the system very highly. And what about any other innovations in safety? Have you seen any other really interesting features this year? Yes, the Volvo EX30 here has a direct driver monitoring system implemented. What that is is a driver facing camera looking directly at the driver's gaze to detect drowsiness and distraction and feeding back warnings if this is detected. Around 20% of crashes have distraction as a causal factor, so that's why this has been taken into the new vehicle general safety regulation. It's very important, however, that systems are implemented in a way that is not over-intrusive. 
because if systems cause driver annoyance, they'll simply be switched off and no safety benefit can be realised. So we've heard a lot about the contenders, but which one of these models would be crowned the 2025 Watt Car Safety Award winner? Well, Claire, this year's winner is the Volkswagen Passat. The Passat performed well across all categories of active and passive safety. Within active safety, every system was implemented with a high degree of accuracy, was collaborative with the user and was not over-intrusive. Within passive safety, the vehicle performed very well, both in terms of protecting the occupants of the vehicle and other vulnerable road users. For that reason, the Volkswagen Passat is a deserving winner of the Safety Award.